fellow organizers of the engine room, steam world leaders, respected personalities. As a youth who suffers from asthma and severe chronic allergies, I've always been committed to learning and working on how to tackle air pollution, the issue that has affected me the most. Yet, some time ago, I understood that there are other youths, essentially those from developing countries, that are far more needed than I am. Indeed, as uh, reflected by the WHO, the World Health Organization, more than 30% of the entire global population lacks healthcare assistance. Nonetheless, these inequalities are intensified by the consequences of global warming, an existential crisis that mankind can only overcome with cooperation. For instance, by 2030, climate change is predicted to cause an economic impact on the global health system valued between two and four billion dollars, while malnutrition, malaria, or heat stress may lead to an estimated 250,000 additional deaths per year. As I cannot stand and watch how we do nothing to tackle the severe health crisis we are facing, I challenge world leaders to work together to implement what I like to call the Universal Health Care Program, which is made up of three steps. The first one is to create a one-year scholarship available for those medical students between 20 and 25 years old from the Global South. These should learn under the basis of a standard program that points out the importance of youth tech with the most innovative practices that the top universities and healthcare facilities are implementing. The second step is to create a global fund to renew and transform the medical infrastructure from the global south into eco-friendly spaces with the latest technological advances within it, thus improving the responses to entities. Thirdly, and lastly, to ensure that children may access any medical institution worldwide, no matter their economic condition, the United Nations should fund a healthcare passport for all minors that allow them to be attended in any medical facility with no cost. As a conclusion, I would like to remind us a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, a politician, activist, and one of the promoters of the Human Rights Declaration. She said, the future belongs to those who believe in their beauty of the dreams. To that I say, youth, let's dream together. Thank you so much.